a pivot table is a powerful tool to calculate, summarize and analyze data. In today's video, we will see how we can turn a raw data in a beautiful pivot table. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. Pivot table or pivot table is one of the most interesting and advanced tool of Excel. To use the pivot table, we will have to go in insert and on the extreme left hand side, we get the option of pivot table. This is a sales data of ABC company. Here I have got serial number, date, name of the salesperson, region or geography, items, quantity sold, amount and number of clients. And this data is really vast, nearly 150 plus. We will see how we can turn this data in a beautiful pivot table. In order to create pivot table, we will have to select our data and we'll have to click on pivot table icon. Over here, you will see the range from where your pivot table is being generated. Instead of making pivot table from raw cell ranges, we will convert the data in a table. So I'll cancel this. We will come over here on the top where we get the option of table or you can use the shortcut that is control T. A small box or window will pop up where your cell ranges will be selected. Here you get the option, my table has headers. We will do OK. And our data got converted in a very beautiful table. Here we get option of table styles from where we can select different colors or various colors. We will click anywhere inside the table. We'll go on top in table tab and we'll give a name to our table. I'll delete this. I'll put the name as sales data. Over here, you'll have to remember one thing. We can't put any space between two words. Right now, I have typed sales data. So I'll remove the space between these two words. So it became a single word, sales data. Now I'll click outside the table and our table got renamed. Whenever we will click inside the table, we will be able to see the name. So what's the logic behind renaming the table or giving table a name? Whenever we will have to use the pivot table, we will not have to select the range. It will automatically take the table's name as sales data. Now let's go in insert and insert a pivot or pivot table. Here you will notice in table range, it has taken the name of the table sales data. Pivot table always suggests us to create a new worksheet. In case you want to use the same worksheet means existing worksheet, you can click over here. But we are going to create a new worksheet. So we will have to click over here new worksheet and we will have to do OK. A new tab or a new worksheet got opened or created. On the extreme right hand side, we see pivot table fields where we are able to see name of our heads. I'll drag it down. So in our data, the headings are as serial number, date, salesperson, region, items, quantity sold, amount and clients. I'll drag it up. Over here, we get option of four boxes, filters, columns, rows and values. I'll suggest you to play with pivot tables to learn more. Let's start doing something or let's start playing with the pivot table. We will click on salesperson and we'll drag it down to rows or we will drop it to rows box. On the extreme left hand side, we are able to see name of all the salesperson. Currently, the name of the salesperson are in rows. In case you want to change it, you can click over here and can drop in columns box and the view will totally change. In case you dragged it anything by mistake, you can put it back over here in the field list. We will do one thing. We will take salesperson in rows. We will drag the field list down. We will select amount and we'll drop in values. And over here, we are able to see name of the salesperson along with the amount. In case you want to see name of the items of the salesperson, you can click on the items and can drag it to columns. And boom, our new data is ready. In case you want to make your table beautiful, you can go in design. And over here, we get various designs. You can select any design of your choice. On the left of table designs, we get option of banded rows and banded columns. We will check this and the borders got created automatically. 
we will put all the things back to the field. Just one thing to highlight. Instead of dropping the heads to the boxes, you can right click the mouse. And from here also, you can add these heads to the boxes. Add two row labels. And it got added automatically. We will do the same thing with amount. Add two values. We will come in value box. Over here, we are able to see sum of amount. In case you don't want to see sum of amount, you can right click on the head. You can go to field setting. And over here, you get various options like sum, count, average, maximum, minimum, product, count numbers, and so on. So we don't want sum. We will select count and we will do OK. Now over here, we are able to see count of the amount instead of sum. We will go in pivot field. We'll click on items and we'll drop it in columns. Now we are able to see name of the salesperson. We will also do one thing. We'll click over here. We'll right click the mouse field setting and we'll make it sum. OK. Now we are able to see what's the sales of each item along with name of the salesperson. We will take back all the things to the field. Now we will see salesperson and geography. I'll take name of the salesperson and we'll drop in row or rows. We'll come down and we'll click on region or geography and we'll take it to rows again. We will go in field list and we'll select amount and we'll drag it to values box. Now over here, we are able to see name of the salesperson, their total sales along with the geography or region. So by putting two things in a single box, it created two level pivot table. These are also called multi-level or two level pivot tables. To change the multi-level pivot table, you can click over here on the region and can drop it to columns and it got converted in matrix layout. And instantly our pivot table got updated or changed. Now we will see what's the use of filter box. We will click on region and we'll drag it to filters box. You'll notice that on the top of our data, we are able to see a region drop down. From here, we can select any region and can see or check the sales. We will take to the right side. This is the sales of East. This is the sales of East and North. This is the sales of North. I'll untick this sales of South and sales of West. In case we want to see the sales of two region, we will click on two boxes. And here we are able to see sales of South and West. I'll close this. One thing to highlight over here. Pivot table automatically arranges the names in alphabetical order. In case you want to change it, you'll have to click on any box. We'll have to right click the mouse. We'll have to go in sort, sort A to Z, sort Z to A. We will click this and it got changed. Earlier it was from A, now it's from P. We will undo this. The shortcut for undo is control Z. So over here we saw how filter works. Now we will play a little bit more with filters. I'll go in field list. I'll click on items and we'll drag it to filters. And you'll notice that here two filter buttons got created. Sales by item and sales by region. So this is the sales of earbuds. I'll click on region. I'll deselect all and we'll click on East. So there was no sales of earbuds in East. I'll select North, South and West. So this is how filter works. So we saw how to use one filter and after that we saw how to use multiple filters or two filters. Even you can take more items over here in filters like date and three filters got created. Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June. We will close this. One thing to add over here. In case you want percentage of the sales You'll have to go in field list and we'll have to drag the amount once again to the values field or values box. Over here, we got sum of amount twice. We will do one thing. We will click on the second amount. We'll right click the mouse. 
will come over here is show values as and will select percentage of column total and boom it got converted to percentage very nicely let's see the most interesting aspect of pivot table and that is slicer we will take back all the things to field range or field name will create a new table amount over here name of the salesperson over here and items in columns over here we are able to see only earbuds we will click on the filter and we'll select all we'll close this now we will see how slicer works we will go in insert over here we get the option of slicer we will click over here we will take this in right and we are able to see all the heads like serial number date salesperson region items and so on we will select items and we'll do okay and our slicer got inserted we will do one thing we will click on our pivot table and we'll remove items from the box our slicer is over here by clicking on these slicers we can see sales of that particular item even we can insert multiple slicers we'll click over here we'll go in insert slicer and this time we will select region okay on the top of slicer we are able to see filter buttons i'll close this now from here i can select any item in case you want to select multiple items it can be done just drag your mouse or just hover your mouse on the items in case you want to see by region close the filter button and click on the desired location or geography or region or hover your mouse or drag your mouse on the heads the slicers are really awesome in case you want to change the view of your slicers it can be done you can go in slicer and over here you can get various designs you can select any design of your choice or any color of your choice even you can change the layout on the top we get the option of columns height width currently it's in one column or single column we can change it to multiple columns also boom all the things got changed very properly even we can do for this slicer we can place it over here now we will see how pivot chart works we will click inside the data we'll go in insert and from here we will select pivot chart and our chart got inserted the chart can be managed from here means from the slicers i'll show you one very interesting thing over here in case you want to create a dynamic dashboard very quickly it can be done through slicers i'll click in my data we'll go in insert pivot chart what we had done earlier i'll click on my pivot table we'll go in design and we can select the design from here i'll click on my first table we'll go in design change chart type this time i'll select pie i can change the design of pie from here i'll click on the heads we'll right click the mouse format data series and from here we can do the changes in donut donut explosion we will close this we will open a new worksheet we'll go in view show we will remove the grid lines now we will come in our table we'll select all by pressing control we will press control x or control c we'll come in new tab and we'll paste it over here we will manage it we will go in first sheet we'll click over here we'll go in insert slicer and we we'll select the slicer of date okay we'll cut this control x we'll go in sheet 2 and we'll paste it over here we'll go in slicer tab and we'll change the column number we'll drag this we'll resize this and we'll place it over here we'll make this bigger we'll adjust this 
and our quick dashboard got created. From here, we can manage our dashboard. I'll close this. North, South, West, East, Items. I'll close this. So this is how our pivot table and slicer works. I'll go in my pivot table. In case you want to do conditional formatting with these pivot tables, it can be done very easily. Just select the data, go in home, conditional formatting. And from here, you can select any rules, highlight cell rules or data bars. I'll select data bars and data bars got added automatically. In case you want to change the color of these data bars, you can select this, can go in conditional formatting, manage rules. And from here, color can be changed. Edit rule, positive values, negative values. We will change the color. Even you can select solid or gradient. Okay. Okay. And the color got changed. So remember, a pivot table is a powerful tool to calculate, summarize and analyze any data. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.